Hello, everyone. Welcome to our NAWA Florida workshop series. And uh, today is October the 24th, 2024. We are honored to have Amalia Brujis. She is uh, an international artist from Lima, Peru, where I'm from. So I've known her for quite a while. And um, she came to the United States in 2000. She has four children who are on the Zoom right now, Daphna, Lisa, and the, the boys are Nathan and Julio, uh, the men actually, and they are, are artists. And um, Amalia studied at Agnes Scott College in Atlanta, Georgia in 1966 to 1968. 1978 to 1984, National School of Fine Arts in Lima, Peru. Bachelor of Arts in Painting and Drawing, 2001 to 2004, Miami International University of Arts and Design, Miami, Florida, where she obtained a Bachelor in Arts. Uh, she had a solo show in uh, a Galeria Sol Lima, Peru, titled Paracas, with her oil paintings in 1991. Also exhibited as a solo exhibit in El Tiempo with acrylic paintings in Galeria Tadeus in Lima, Peru, 1994. Walker's Art Gallery at the Wild Cornell Medical Associate Westside, New York in 2012. And Memories was the art at the Art Gallery at the JCC in Miami Beach, Florida in 2015. She has numerous awards and honorary mention degrees from Peru, and she graduated first place in Miami International University of Arts and Design in 2004, second place uh, award winner in the NAWA exhibit at ArtServe in Fort Lauderdale, and uh, first place winner in Boundless exhibit at the Boca Raton Levis JCC Museum Gallery in Boca. And that was April through May, 2023. So I'm proud to know her as a friend, and she's an amazing woman, and her art is beautiful, as you will see right now. So with you, Amalia, please join us with your okay. presentation. My presentation, okay. I want to tell you a little bit about why I paint, and a little bit. It's just that I have always been fascinated with drawing and painting since I was a little girl. And it took me many years to decide that I finally to, to take it seriously, to, to realize my... my Give me one minute. Melita, please mute your phone. Everybody yes. mute your, your computers. Yeah, we're hearing a dog barking. Please. Um... Yeah, Lisa needs to mute. Can you mute everybody except... Um... Yeah, Amalia. there we go. Amalia, thank you. So I was, um, I was a few years past, I was already married with three children and I have to thank my late husband because he encouraged me to, to realize my, my dreams. And he said, I want to know you to know that I encourage you, but you first, you have to finish what you started. So we are in 2024, almost 2025. Um, I'm still keeping my word. I'm still painting. So anyway, so... Um, uh, just for an anecdote, I had my fourth child while I was studying and uh, there was a strike in, in the university and they waited for me to have the baby and I graduated with everybody in my class in 1984. Anyway, so uh, life and things happen and I in 2000 I came to Miami where my daughter lived and all my children were studying abroad so a new city, a new encounter, new colors, the greens and the city and the people uh, gave me a new kind of inspiration. I I have lived here since the year 2000. Now I live in Parkland, but I want to tell you that I spent 12 years at the Bakehouse Art Complex in different studios. Now I have a studio in my own house. So here, here is my work. I have to open this and then no open open this and then share. Where is share? 
The share is at the bottom and it's green with an arrow, black arrow going up. Just click on that. Okay, the share, wait, 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 give me one second. I, mm -hmm. okay, this, okay, the share is here and then I open, no? Yes, click it and you'll see, look for your, your presentation and then click on your presentation. Okay. Excellent. And now you can make it nice and large and just get a close up into it. The little button on the left. The button on the left. Oh, she was doing yesterday. She was fine yesterday. See? Okay. It's good. Here. Excellent. Okay. I call my show Walking Memories because it's walking and it's my memories, my life, a little bit of the past, and a lot of things for the for the future. So um, um, the next five paintings belong to a series I did after my graduation. And the, you'll see that the ochres, pinks, and mauve mountains of this area inspired my whole career. And I want to show you this, this works. This, um, I always, in, the, in those days, I only painted the the desert, never, never trees, never plants, never green. And you can see in the one in the right, it's called Lisa at the sea, my daughter, and, and her image is melting with the sand and the sea. And the other one was the one for my first invitation for Paracas. Then this is this is one landscape with in Paracas, the bay of Paracas with this turquoise ochres, moths, and here the beach that we went every week. And here in the picture you cannot see, but there is a towel and slippers also that melt in the, in the sand and one of my sons sitting in the beach. Now we come to my walkers and I have to tell you why walkers. Uh, so it is it is through my own experience that I have been painting this Walker series because um, when I came to Miami and I traveled all over the world, I met a lot of people in the streets, in train stations, in airports. In, saque la carne, si ya está, saque la, saque la, rápido. Ya pague el horno, pero saque la ya, si no se malogra. Excuse me, <laughs> Anabel. <laughs> uh, your your voice anyway so um people and people seem like ants to me when when i was in japan and i saw the people crossing the streets they for look like ants crossing the the lined pavements and everybody immersed in their own thoughts and i felt one of them i felt that i was looking for a familiar face that very seldom found but i but I, I see these people and I feel that I am one of them, that we all belong to the same humanity. We all have the same thoughts, the same, and, and we share the same destiny, the same destiny. I paint my people in urban areas without the architecture. I leave it to the imagination of the viewer. Okay, so here is this, these two paintings were, were done, inspired in the streets in New York. I stood in a corner and I scrambled and I painted the people walking. They were looking at me like crazy, but there I was, very happy. And these are a little bit abstract, but that's what I'm looking for. Not always I'm so lucky to, to be abstracted. The realism, the realists want to be abstract, the abstract want to be real. Anyway, so here I am. This, these two are the, the colors that I got when I came here. So the first one is in, in a book fair in Miami and the second one in a London fair. This is Unfaded Memories. It's the one that gave me the first prize in the JCC. And you can see the two paintings. One is in the, the same, are the same per paintings from the um, scene from the Beijing train station. And I took this, three little characters and they, I amplified them with, I left the layers as, as part of the inspiration, present, past, future, shadows, people go, people come. And that's the reason it was chosen because it was, even though the name was some faded memories, it went well with the subject of the show, Boundless. Okay, so um, here more people in, in Beijing, in the Forbidden Palace, the, it's amazing how in China, 
you think that you'll find a lot of uh, people from all over the world, but no, most of the people are Chinese. And um, and I could I couldn't stop looking at this. I couldn't stop painting it. This is also in a, my my son lived in London for many years, and this is my son, my daughter-in-law in the gallery when the baby was small. This left one is called past the past and the future, and the other one before and after. And I have something written for that that before and after here. Know that um, the places, the places we walked in the course of our lives have been walked by many others before us. And the realization is similar when we enter to a sacred place that is filled with the energy of the thousands that have been there before us. So be the past and the future is three young boys and the past is a, a, a scene from the um, Central Station in New York, and the other one is people walking in the in the in the pavement that so many others have walked before them. And I I found this a, a lot of inspiration in in this idea. This is one called Daydreaming. This this girl at a gallery was standing there, and I just couldn't help taking a picture. And then I. I saw that she was thinking maybe maybe about something that I don't know, but it was, she was daydreaming. This last this uh, painting on the left is Walkers in CPI. It was accepted at the Boca Raton anniversary once. Was showed there. Same people. This is in in Art Basel once, and this is this is a group of a, a group of people standing there but a guy taking a, a picture of this girl so it's called snapshot mm -hmm. also also in china so here we come to my extra family portraits they are all little paintings in more or less all of them are 10 by 8 or sometimes 9 by 11 and they are depicted from from old family photographs that I found in my mother's album. Um, we, as people and as artists, have a lot of a variety of inspiration and every, every step takes us to a new confrontation. I grew up reading the stories of the old country. There was always a feeling of yearning for, for what it was and what was left behind. My parents came from Ukraine Years before, some a few years before the war, my father as a young boy and my mother in 1935. But I I was born in this house that I I could I could smell the the memories of the old land. So a few years ago, when I moved to Miami, my belongings from Lima came and there was an album, my mother's album that I don't remember seeing before, where I knew some of the people and I didn't know others, and I. I thought I was compelled to 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 paint them as as they they looked so familiar and at the same time they not all of them were so I depicted these families in a magical place away from pogroms and persecution my palette came limited and I did them small so that they can resemble the pictures from where they are they were taken so these are a few. The one in the left is called the flower dress. The one in the middle is very personal because there is my grandmother and the couple in brown and green are my uncle and his wife and the child. They were all killed in the Holocaust. And the one in the right is a father with his family. No idea who they are or why the mother wasn't there, but I, I thought it was very significant of the time and the colors. Here is a group of people from the same stories. And they I imagine they are in a in a wedding party because there's like a little bride there, a, a girl dressed in white. This one, the same people, but in the countryside, probably after the wedding. And it's this is very significant because I mixed my imagination of the countryside and and the people and so it's it's a little bit more mine than the others that i looked at paintings at pictures sorry 
and this is this is funny because I there's a mono I, I called it monoplane. It it has one and one motor. And one day I was showing this painting and somebody came over and said, I remember those planes, and it was so funny. I don't even know where it was. Maybe here, maybe in Paris, maybe I don't know. But it was in definitely an old, old painting. So where are we? Ah, we are here in the forests. We are why forests and white people. I have it written. Forests. Okay, after living in Lima and Peru, in the coast of Peru, but not, not all Peru, we are surrounded by deserts. The skies are always gray. It very seldom rains. The trees are not significant. Not, not significantly green because it never rains. Here, when I came here, I was so amazed that the green colors, I, I was amazed because I thought that the trees in the houses of the, the little plants were plastic because they were so shiny and so green. And now I'm surrounded by this beautiful vegetation and I couldn't help but, but paint them. Never before, so this is something new for me. And I now we know that that well I know I feel that the trees are a mystical connection to our spirituality. They play a big part in our life, and to see them as a group, it's for me like a group of people. They stand in one place, but they don't move. Luckily, they stay here for us to paint them. And new studies show that they are connected among themselves through their roots. It's for me fascinating. We rely on forests. They generate the oxygen we breathe. They provide our water, the livelihood to the millions of people worldwide. Worldwide, They play a critical role in our survival. So this is my homage to trees and the beautiful parks I have been throughout my life. This, this uh, in the left side are dancing trees. I call them the dancing trees because I was in the 17th floor and I saw this golf course with the beautiful trees. The one in the right is Central Park. My amazing, my amazing, I, the feeling I have for Central Park is amazing. That's what I wanted to say. I love it. I love it every time I go to New York. It's a place that I spend a lot of time here. Two parks in Japan. One I call the Pink Park and the other one is a reflection of a park in a lake, in a little lake. And finally, I want to give it a touch of livelihood and I painted my blue tango and a scene of tango in, a, in anywhere. So never very seldom with the landscape. So here we are. This is my education. And this is in honor of my two sons, Nathan and Julio, who are real artists. They, they are my proud and for the whole family. My, I love my daughters too, don't take me wrong. <laughs> anyway, so here we are, and this is my information. Amalia, this is an amazing presentation, very professional. Your work is very interesting, very diverse and emotional and uh, colorful. Really kudos to you and so proud that your family, they follow in your footsteps. So now please, uh, we welcome whoever wants to pose any questions. And pardon me that I'm like, my mind is a little bit distracted because I'm preparing food for a lot of people and things I've not done before. So please, who has the questions? Should I stop? I stop them. Yes, yes, you can stop uh, sharing. Unless somebody wants to go back to it, but you can stop sharing. Yeah, okay. Okay. I actually wanted to say, I maybe because I like animation stuff, but you're, something about your characters, your people are very, um, almost like they feel like they're going to jump off the canvas and start moving. Um, and maybe it's my imagination, but they seem to have movement to all of it. Well, um, on all of your images, even the ones standing still feel like they're ready to move. Um, it's got to be some kind of attention or something that you do, but it's, I love it. It's really wonderful. Thank you. I want to say something too. Um, I'm so proud of you, mom. That was beautiful. Like seriously, 
Yo, <laughs> did you know? And I love, love, love her little people. I call them her like, what do I call them? Muñequitos, like little dolls, because yeah. they're they're so perfect. And if you see how she does them, it's like in two seconds they they come to life. It's it's really amazing. I, I grew up watching her paint, and her art is my favorite art there is. Like seriously, I love it. And that's a perfect word because they feel like they're coming alive to me too. Yes, yes. lovely. I'm also very proud of you, mommy. I'm uh, your biggest fan. You can see in my my Zoom. This is where I work, <laughs> and uh, your art is everywhere here. And also, my uh, Nati and Julio, my two brothers, are here as well. And I've seen your painting so many times, and it was amazing hearing you talk about them. So so proud, mommy. Well done. Thank you, mi amor. Thank you so much. Is there any questions? Because um, this is time to actually ask where people on YouTube, most of the people actually view this on their own time. So even if you're seeing just, there's 15 of us here now, but there's always, you can triple that, quadruple that and even more for who's going to actually view it. So if there's any questions. Nathan, I'd like to, I'd like for her two, two children to say something, please. Nathan and Julio, can you please join us? And yeah. Yeah. Mommy, that was amazing. <laughs> Uh, you're such an example of perseverance, and um, uh, you're my biggest inspiration. So um, I do have a question. I um, You have very, very many uh, different subject matters in your work, um, but I find that there's a connection between all of them. W what do you think is that connection? Um the i i feel a connection too but i think it's the way i paint mm. it's my 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 stroke probably I, I, think, I think that's right i think that your personality because of your training and because of the language that you use and your pictoria language carries through to all of the works and um and so even though the subject matters are different, they're very, I feel like they're very much uh, Amalia, no matter which subject matter it is. So um, I think that is very important and um, and it's not an easy thing to achieve, to carry personality through the, the form of the work. So kudos to you. Yeah, it's, it's, it's the heart and, and it's, it's for you, for all of you. Thank you, Nati. Thank you so much. Sure. I saw Shirley. I'm very proud, very, very proud of Amalia. Besides being a great human being, sensitive and caring, she can, uh, she really makes us feel how little and how big we are. Uh, through her, her paintings, she also shows her great emotions, mm -hmm. her great observation of our world, of our human beings. And I think that besides adoring her children, because I know her personally, uh, and of course are her big uh, inspire for her her biggest inspiration i think that she deserves a greater place in the art world because she shows through her art much more, more much more than just her paintings so I know her also through her writings. Mm -hmm. I know her through her smile, to her through her humility, humility, to her bashfulness, and she's a great human being, a great reflection. And I'm very proud to say I'm the proud owner of one of her paintings, which I adore. And it's a, in a very special place in my living room. Okay. Congratulations, Amaila. I love you. 
Thank you. Thank you, Shirley. Thank you so, so much. Thank you. Love you. I think that you're going to have a definite place in history because you feel like a historian in your work. It shows that way, past, present, and all around. It's You definitely have a feeling of being historical, and this is going to be something that's, you know, will last for many generations. You already got your second Good. generation here, so many generations that follow. I would like to talk. Can I talk? Yeah. Can I speak? Can I speak? My name is Jimena. I'm her neighbor. I met him, met her three years ago. This woman is amazing. You can see yes. her house. It's like a museum. Everything that she does, the taste, the love that she put in everything is amazing. You can walk every day and see something different in all her painting and the passion that she has for her kids is amazing for her work and for everybody everybody here loves her just is my dear friend <laughs> thank you everybody loves her That's thank right. you so much thank you thank you Maeve, did you have awesome. yeah hi amalia it's so great to see you you are a true genius with your triumph and and collaboration and what i found so Maeve. Amazing. Oh my God, Lee. Oh my God. <laughs> I was moved to tears see, seeing the work um, from the Holocaust, but also the way that you can then go to China and to Japan and make it just as emotionally connected as if they were your relatives too. And then to see the past the, and the present with that beautiful woman that you had to draw and then the people inside of her brain and then your thread of humanity, how you wove it in to how you see us all as the same. It's it it I was I was moved to tears and you're a true genius. And I know you as my one of my brother. I call him my brother's mother. And to see this side of you is just so so incredible. And I'm I'm just speechless of your work. And yes, you need a place in history. And yes, we need a museum with your name on it. And I'm I'm, I'm, just, I'm so proud of you. I can't help it. That's just the truth. Thank, That's thank how you I felt. so much. Thank I love you. you and it's great to see you. And I love <clears throat> Julio's face. He's the only one I haven't seen. Is he here? I don't know. Julio is here, but he's somewhere um, in a lesson or something. So probably he can't uh, put his camera on. And Yossi is here too. Okay. Hi, Yossi. <laughs> Amalia, can I speak? Rosita, yes, please. Yes, yes. Amalia is my companion always. Part of our soul. I together in our writing. Let And I always see her painting the soul of Amalia. It's full of air, of dreams, of history. I really embrace knowing you, and you are a wonderful painter. But they keep a, a time to see her work by writing. She okay. is a fantastic human being. Thank, Thank you, Amalia. You, Lisa. I love you, love you, love you, all of all of you, all of you. Thank you so much for being here. Wow. It's amazing. It it paid to be so many days involved in this because I didn't know how to do it. And now I'm so, so happy. So Janet, happy. we'd like to listen to uh, your comments, please. Janet is our member, board member, and she's been in lots of pain. I followed Amelia's work since I met her down in Miami. Her work is so beautiful and deep and thoughtful and sensitive. I love her work. It's great to see you all. Great to see you too. <laughs> great to see you. Thank you for coming. And for all of you, um, you'll find that I'll have the link. I'll be sending it out to Amelia as well as all of our members. And you'll find it, I'll have it uploaded to YouTube on, this, on the channel, on our Now Florida channel. So you could share as much as you want. It's a wonderful way to get to know the artist and you already know them. Her, here, everybody here knows her, but you'll get others to know her. Thank you, Roberta. Thank you so much. You have been more than wonderful. <laughs> thank you and patient. Yes, thank you, Roberta. You really guide uh, the artist through this process very nicely and try to make them keep calm. So it's great. Very well. Thank anything? you all for this. Go ahead. Oh, I was going to say, is there any well, uh, anything else? Because I know we're getting close to the end here, and I can sign off whenever you're ready. Amalita, I just keep walking. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> yes, that's that's <laughs> true. I have to start walking. Yeah, <laughs> walking okay. with your walkers. Walking. Have a wonderful day. Thank you for joining us. Thank you all for joining us, and Amalia, thank you for a beautiful presentation. You have enlightened our day, and you have made it very special. There's, it's sunny outside and it's sunny in our souls because of your presentation. Really special. Thank you. Thank you, Nabel. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you for calling. Oh. It has been great. Yeah.